Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how you can search for any specific order ID inside this Google Sheet file. And based on that order ID, I will be updating a row. And in this specific case, uh, the F column is something that I want to update, which means product shipped uh, will be updated to yes, just in case any specific order ID searched and found inside your Google Sheet. As you can see, I have already created a Pabli form. Uh, it is the name of the form is order update and the description of this form is that once the product is shipped Please fill the order ID below and we will update the order sheet So what I will be essentially doing is I will be filling out an specific order ID and based on that order ID Automatic a search will be conducted inside this whole Google sheet and based on that search if the order ID is found This product ship will be updated to yes inside this Google sheet Okay, so we will be using Pabli Connect to do this entire integration as you all know that Pabli Connect is an integration software that helps you to connect multiple applications together. So the very first thing that we will be doing is we will be clicking on create new workflow and I will be giving a workflow name. In this specific case, the workflow name will be find and update records inside Google Sheet. Okay, so I'm just going to save the name of this workflow. The first thing that you have to do once you are inside the workflow is to set up your trigger. Trigger is something which will actually start this entire workflow. So in this specific case, I am going to choose the trigger which is going to be Pabli Form Builder because I have created this specific form with the help of Pabli Form Builder. Even though we are using Pabli Forms right here, but rest assured you can use just about any trigger application that you essentially want. In this specific case, the new form submission is something that will trigger this entire workflow. So I'm just going to copy this webhook URL. I am going back to the Pabli Forms dashboard and inside this integration menu option right here, I'm going to webhooks and I'm clicking on add new webhook. You can just paste the webhook URL right here and you can just click on save. As soon as this webhook is saved, it essentially means that Pabli Connect will capture any response or any data that is submitted inside this form. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on Pabli Connect again and I'm just going to click on Capture Webhook Response. Now I'm going back to my Pabli form and I'm just going to submit one data which is 1003 which happens to, an, to be an order ID present inside one of the Google Sheet files. So you can see 1003 is present right here. So I'm just going to update delivery details right here. You can see the message is submitted and if you go back to Pabli Connect, you can see enter the order ID field is right here with the value of 1003. You can see all other data as well like form ID, ticket ID, IP address, submission date, referrer and enter the order ID. The one key that we are interested in is the order ID because we will be picking up this order ID and we will be updating the Google Sheet right here with product shipped as yes. Okay. So now I'm just going to click on plus button right here. So first of all, even before doing anything, first we have to search some values inside this specific column, which is column A. Okay. So I'm just going to search for Google Sheets and then I will choose the method as lookup spreadsheet rows and I'm going to click on connect button right here. Choose the Google Sheet int integration. If you already have your previous credentials are stored, you can choose from that. Otherwise, you can authorize your Google Sheet account right here. I'm going to save it. As soon as I save it, you will see that it gave me all the spreadsheet in my account. The one spreadsheet that I am interested in is the order sheet spreadsheet. So I'm just going to select spreadsheet as order sheet. Sheet is going to be sheet one and the lookup column is going to be uh, this specific column which happens to be A. Okay, so I'm just going to write the lookup column as A and lookup value is something we want to search for this specific order IDs. So I'm just going to click on this specific button right here and I'm just going to select enter the order ID right here. If you want to include headers, you can include headers as well. Headers is something which shows all these details like order ID, first name, last name, city, email and product ship. Okay, uh, now the amazing thing is you also have a simple response right here. Simple response gives you a data in a way in which which is actually very mappable right away in the next steps. If you want to get some advanced response returned to you, advanced response means that you will be getting the entire array of data. 
rather than getting one value one key value pair it will essentially return all the array key value pairs because sometimes it happens that even though the, in this specific case order id is going to be unique but in some cases if you are making a search in column c and there is two times the same name is repeated you need to essentially have a repeater so that you can basically get uh, all the different kind of values and the different kind of rows essentially return to you in this specific case we are going to return and get the simple response right here uh, i'm just going to click on save and send a test request and you can see the api response returned us all the data uh, it gave us the product shipped value as no order id is 1003 first name is winnie city name is manhattan last name is goyal and row index is 4 it basically gave us that fourth is the row in which you have this specific 1003 order id okay now everything looks good right here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on plus button right here and i'm going to select google sheets again and now i will choose this update cell value field right here okay i will click on connect i will again authorize one of my account which is google sheet account i'll just save it okay uh, i will pick my order sheet which will be right here the sheet will be sheet one and then it is asking us for a range range is something we actually essentially have to provide the cell value in which we want to make an update okay so the update that needs to be made is always in F column because this is something uh, all the details about this product shipping is coming under the F column. So you can essentially write that you want to update something in F column. Okay. But in this specific case, we do not have the specific cell value because we just want to update something in F4 because 1003 is essentially inside F4 column. Okay, we do not want to update everything. We want to update only the F4 column. Okay, so in this specific case, if you see the response above, it basically gave us the row index as well, which means this 1003 exists in the row number 4. Okay, and that is the very same cell number that we want to update. We want to update F4. So rather than making any static changes right here, you just map the row index which is coming under api2 so you just map the row index right here so it will actually transform this into f4 do not worry about the key that is shown here it will only pick the values which is shown right here so it will automatically fetch the range which will be f4 and based on that range we can specify that if you want to update up anything so in this specific case i want to update this product shipped as yes so i'm just going to do that and because everything looks good to me, I'm just going to give and press on save and send a test request. And you can see the API response is right here, which says that updated rows is one, column is one, updated cell is one. So essentially we can go right here and you can see 1003 is updated to yes right here. Okay. This explains the entire scenario. Everything is saved. This workflow automation is also turned on. You can see it is turned on right here which means it will get some data from Pabli form builder. Uh, the order ID will be got, get from this Pabli form builder form. Once the order ID is received, it will do a lookup inside Google sheet. And once the lookup is made, it will update the Google sheet cell value right here. Okay. So let me just try this out once more. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put out another order ID, which will be 1004. Okay. So I'm just going to reload this form again and I'm just going to update this specific order which will be 1004 and I'm going to click on update delivery details. As soon as you do that, if you come right here inside Google Sheet, you will see the product shipped is updated to yes. Okay, let me just do and refresh this specific form again. This time update 1002. Okay, and you can see 1002 is updated. So I hope this completes the whole tutorial for searching any specific value and then based on that search value updating something. If you want to update all the columns by searching, so in this specific video I showed you how you can update a cell value but if you want to update entire row you can also update entire row by making 
uh, by searching for update row method right here. So update row method will essentially pick all the rows in this, um, pick all the columns in this specific sheet. And based on that, you can specify all the values for different, different cells inside this entire row. So I hope that this value is, this video is valuable for you. Just in case, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thank you for watching this video.